Okay, just a follow-up video on the Big Tree Tech Eddy Probe. If you've seen the previous video, you've seen it working. This is just to show the uh, mount that I made for it for a Creality Ender 3 Max, which already has two bolts on the carriage plate for ABL probes. This is an adjustable mount, so this slider plate fixes to the Eddy probe with the stock bolts just a couple of undersized holes there you put the bolts in slowly and they'll self tap if they happen to pull through all you do is use the longer bolts and put a couple of nuts on the back you've got the slot here so you've got vertical adjustment and up the top just a couple of holes for a cable tie just to keep that cable up out of the way and stop it flexing at the port and then with this there's a spacer because I found if you just put this straight on the carriage plate as it goes to X max it collides with the bolts that are on the uh, belt adjuster so this just offsets it a little bit and also because it's got the two holes and these side rails it helps stop this being able to pivot like that where the slot is slightly slack so all you do is a pair of 10 mil bolts uh, M3 size I use button heads uh, just don't use countersunk because they push the slot open so you just fix that in place and then for configuring it the gap between eddy and the bed should be between one and two millimeters so there's also this piece that I made up this step and if you print this at 0.2 layer height this part here is about one mil tall and this part is about 20. So what you do is you physically lower your nozzle so it's just touching the bed. Then you put this under eddy, you slack the bolts off, you lower eddy so he's just touching it and you lock the bolts up. Then you know you have about one millimeter between eddy and the, the build surface when the nozzle is touching. Obviously heat your nozzle up first, clean any filament off. And then your first step in calibration requires Eddie to be 20 mil above the bed. So you rise your gantry up, you sit this underneath and you bring Eddie down till he just sits on it. You know he's roughly 20 mil above the bed. I just found it made the calibration a lot more simple. So that's those two parts. This is just the slider. just a simple design nothing much to it one of the things I found with the instructions is when it's talking about the boot button it shows an exploded picture so the first thing I did was grab a spudger and tried to open the shell for Eddie when I quickly realized that didn't make sense I regrouped and although my camera is blurry just here is the boot button so you just press that down with something as you connect your USB and then that puts it into flash mode don't try to prise the case open like I did so there we go that's these parts if you want these they're on my thingiverse and Colts pages I'll leave a link in the uh, description and just as a quick aside, if you've got the Big Tree Tech Micro Probe, I've also made a bracket just for mounting that to the end of Free Max. Again, it's just a simple adjustable bracket. You've got your slot for height adjustment, a couple of holes there for a cable tie just to retain the cable. And it just screws through from underneath like that. I love these probes. But Eddie is now my new favourite. As long as you've got a steel sheet. Most of my printers have sprung, sprung? Textured PEI steel sheets. So there we go. That's the mounts for the Eddie probe. I don't know if this will fit the other version of Eddie, the Eddie coil, um, as I don't have one. But I would assume so if it's the same form factor. 
also Big Tree Tech have just released an updated manual that shows where you should align in terms of the center of this like you would to a pin on a normal ABL probe so that you can better work out where this is in relation to your nozzle so if you've got the older version of the manual just download the new one now these were bought with my own money and I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Big Tree Tech I just like their gear because it works and they back it up with decent support and documentation.